Good morning and happy Thursday. Let's take a look at today's top local stories. The St. Joseph City Council held a work session Wednesday evening with details on the new splash pad. Details of the splash pad were discussed with Parks Director Chuck Kemp in attendance. Discussing how much of the Krug Pool area would be taken up by the new pad, safety measures and more. The Krug Pool closure and installation of the splash pad have been a hot topic for the area. St. Joseph City Mayor John Josendale wants to assure the public that the city is still discussing opening a new pool in the future. The life expectancy of any pool or splash park in the pools that we've had to take out, they're way past their life expectancy. We understand as a city that we need a pool, so we're still working on that. But in the meantime, we're looking at how we're going to complete the pool, and that's very high on our priority list as to where we're going and, and making sure that we do have a swimming pool for people to use. Plans to beautify parts of downtown near the incoming Inspire U Center were also discussed. Leaders of the Main Street St. Joseph offered plans and cost initiatives for completing the project in time for the opening. And the St. Joe's School District saw an 11% increase in graduation rate, but a slight dip in daily attendance last school year. The graduation rate hit 87.9%, but the overall attendance was 77.56%, down from 78.91% in 23. Attendance, a big focal point for the school district, and it's been a struggle to get kids back in school after the COVID-19 pandemic. It's not just a St. Joseph problem, but here in the city, the biggest areas of concern are kindergarten, eighth grade, and high school. At the end of the day, we need parents to get kids to school, right? Not, not kids getting themselves to school. So we have to engage our families in that process and help them see the value in education. The attendance is still way up from the 70% in 2022, but district officials are looking into different ways to reach out to families and get kids back in the classroom.